Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Candice if you're new here and I make videos about living slowly, living minimally with my family. I am a mother and I have two young kids, a toddler and a baby and I really just like sharing my life here and all of my interests which also includes slow fashion and like simple beauty and of course sustainability. If you followed me for a while, especially over on Instagram, you'll know that I started getting into content creation because of sustainability and I was just kind of exploring what sustainability looks like to me and in my life and how I could implement different things to live a more sustainable life. So this whole interest in living minimally, sustainably, living slowly kind of started about seven or eight years ago now. It actually started back when I was a newlywed. My husband and I um, were living in Sydney, Australia at the time and I just got really into like sustainable living, um, learning about zero waste and things like that and then I wanted to share about it with basically my friends and family but then that was kind of the beginning of when content creation started to become a thing become a job almost and it just kind of organically grew from there and that has led me to where i am today um, just creating content on Instagram and YouTube and sharing my life with you. Anyway, that turned out to be kind of a backstory of how I got into content creation, but that is not the point of the video today. So obviously back when I started creating content back then, I was a newlywed, just living with my husband. Um, and so now life has changed dramatically. I'm back living in Canada and I have a family with two little kids. So I wanted to give an update on sustainable living, sustainable swaps and how that has changed now that I am a mom of two and now that I'm living in Canada, it's a very different kind of lifestyle to when I was living in Sydney, just my husband and I. So you might be wondering, or maybe not wondering, how I came up with this video idea is actually from a recent experience with a PR product. And of course, I wanted to try it out and see if it was good. And the product was a razor, so like a typical razor with the disposable heads that you'd switch out every so often and I was curious to try it. I haven't used one of those razors in a long time and I wanted to see if it would give me a good shave. So I put the shaving cream product on and went for a shave and after using that product I thought to myself why did I ever think it would be better than my safety razor that I've had for so many years and I haven't had to throw it out or anything and it's been perfect. It's always given me the closest shave and it's sustainable. To be honest, I probably got sucked into pretty packaging. I often do. I am really lucky to get to try a lot of different products. So I was just curious to try to see if it was good and it had just been so long since I have used a disposable razor. So that is the experience that triggered this video idea and is what made me want to give you guys an update on sustainable swaps that I've made in my life and just my thoughts on them now, especially now being a mother of two young kids. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so let's just start in the bathroom because that's where we are already. And of course, you probably know my thoughts already on a safety razor. They're the best. I've had this beautiful white one for a couple of years and it has been amazing. All I've had to do is replace the razor blade and it always gives me the closest shave. Nothing can compare to the shaver. It is a hundred times better than disposable razors. And if you haven't made the switch yet, I highly recommend you do that. So my thoughts on the safety razor have not changed. I definitely recommend switching over to that if you haven't already. The only thing to be careful of is the blade because it's obviously very sharp. So you just have to be careful of that when you are shaving. I feel like I have to be a little bit more careful with a safety razor than with a disposable shaver. But I am willing to um, pay a little bit more attention and um, focus when I am shaving. That is pretty much the only like downside of a safety razor is what I would say. All right, I'm gonna check my list here um, to make sure I don't miss anything. The next item is a menstrual cup or a menstrual disc. Reusable period products in general just because they are so good and if you have not made the switch, I highly recommend you do it. Before I switched to a menstrual cup slash menstrual disc, I was using pads. I was even too afraid to use tampons. So if you're afraid Afraid of using a menstrual cup or menstrual disc know that you can do it because I was able to do it too and it makes such a big difference it's so comfortable it's healthier for your body and it's reusable I personally I've tried menstrual cups and menstrual discs my favorite is the Nixit 
menstrual disc. It's like about this big and it's perfect. I don't leak at all. It's so comfortable and easy to use. So what I like to do with the menstrual cup or disc is to have that and then as a backup, I wear leak-proof underwear. So my favorite ones are from NYX. There are lots of other brands out there so you can just see what works for you. So yeah, my period routine has been waste-free for so many years now. Now that I'm a mother, it hasn't changed. It's, it's amazing and I definitely recommend making those changes if you haven't already. The next thing are reusable cotton pads. Such an easy change if you haven't done that already. I don't use reusable cotton pads that often, mostly just for removing eye makeup when I wear eye makeup. I don't tend to wear a lot of eye makeup anyway, so I don't go through them that quickly. But if you do, just grab a ton and each week when you do laundry, I'm assuming you do laundry every week or whenever, however frequently you do laundry, you just chuck them in the laundry machine and wash it with your clothes and it's perfect. It's so easy to use and then just replenish them. So that is another easy swap that I am still continuing. So the next couple of things are things that I haven't fully continued doing and there are just a variety of reasons why. So the first thing is like bar soap and shampoo bars, conditioner bars, and things like that. To be honest, I just haven't found a good shampoo and conditioner bar that I like that cleans well for my hair type. I've used a couple in the past. I haven't had many issues with them, but at the moment I just have a bunch of shampoo and conditioner that work for my hair type. So I'm just trying to use up all those products before I dive back into the world of shampoo bars and conditioner bars. But that hasn't been a huge change for me, not to say that it is a bad product. I just haven't found a good product that actually works for my hair type yet. But if you have any suggestions for shampoo bars and conditioner bars, let me know in the comments down below. The next thing is a bamboo toothbrush or like a wooden toothbrush. I personally just prefer to use an electric toothbrush and I know it's still a little wasteful because I have to change out the toothbrush head, but I just prefer using the electric toothbrush. I feel like I get a better and deeper clean for my teeth and so yeah, that's just why I haven't changed. Aesthetically, if I were gonna go for aesthetics only, I would totally switch to a wooden toothbrush. They're just so pretty. And of course, more sustainable than a regular toothbrush. Um, but yeah, that's why I haven't switched to a wooden toothbrush. And finally, our reusable cotton swabs. So I received two reusable cotton swabs a few years ago. I just haven't found that I've used them very often and I just don't really use cotton swabs that often. And actually it's really bad for you to use cotton swabs in your ears. So I am trying to not do that anymore. And we just used up the cotton swabs that we had in our bathroom and we haven't repurchased any so far. But I think, I don't I don't actually use a lot of cotton swabs and I don't think it would make a huge difference um, between having reusable cotton swabs and also the um, like paper kind. But also I think the paper kind are compostable. So personally for me, I don't think it's a huge change for me anyway. That's why I haven't really stuck to reusable cotton swabs. I also don't use them for makeup or anything. So that's why I haven't switched over. But if you use cotton swabs really frequently, especially for makeup or something, then you might consider a reusable cotton swab. All right. Next up, we are gonna move to the kitchen. So in the kitchen, there are quite a few different swaps. The first big one is paper towels. So you may remember that a few years back, my husband and I were trying really hard not to use paper towel. Uh, we just used a lot of rags and everything. But now with two kids, I had to go back to paper towel for quick messes and just like spills. There are just so many reasons why I need paper towel in my life. I do try my best to limit the use of paper towels, but it's just really hard as a parent with two kids not to have paper towel in the home. Thankfully, paper towels are compostable, so whenever we use those, we try to throw them in the compost bin. So that is a change that I've gone back to since becoming a mom. The next product are Swedish dishcloths, which we still love. We use, they're super absorbent, they're compostable, they're just, they're just so fun. They come in so many fun patterns as well, or you can buy like a bulk pack, and I just love that they're so accessible now and you can find them anywhere. Really simple and easy change to make in your kitchen. All right, the next thing is a sponge. So we actually use regular sponges in our home again and this is because my husband and I cannot agree on the sponge. This is just what happens when you live with other people and you got to make compromises. So my husband just hates the dish brushes. Like he finds that they are not good at cleaning and just hard to use overall and I totally get that. We So we do have regular sponges in our home now. 
it's just something that we had to compromise on and so that is a swap that has changed although I still have some of the um, natural brushes I use to scrub things that are harder to scrub down but yeah we do have sponges back in our home now I'm thinking that maybe we can move towards having compostable sponges that feel like regular synthetic sponges so hopefully we can kind of move towards that way if we can find a good brand that makes regular shaped sponges that are compostable the next two items are food saving items so we have beeswax wraps and stasher bags reusable silicone bags both are still amazing I still use them they're just super handy and a simple change that you can have in your home so next are on-the-go type things for me on-the-go items are really just reusable water bottles coffee cups and reusable tote bags so the reusable bottle and coffee cup I mean those are so accessible everywhere they come in so many pretty fun styles there are just so many that is an easy swap that you can make I actually think in this category of reusable bottles and to-go cups and tote bags it can get easy to start to hoard them because there's so many also I feel like a lot of companies and brands give these items away as kind of like giveaway items or like gift with purchase and so you end up with a ton of these water bottles and tote bags that you don't really need which is kind of ironic because I think it's like a sustainability marketing technique say you're at a fair or like a festival I feel like a lot of booths always give away free tote bags and free bottles and people will collect them because it's free so I think in this area it's wise to kind of be aware of the number of water bottles and tote bags and things like that that you're bringing into your home because you might not actually need because you probably don't need that many water bottles to go cups and tote bags especially tote bags I feel like especially with fashion brands using a reusable tote bag is a huge like sustainability move or marketing technique that people do and of course it is so much better than having a ton of like plastic packaging but I feel like over time those tote bags can kind of accumulate and start to become a lot so I wouldn't recommend going out and purchasing reusable bags because you probably have a ton in your home already Already, or you'll be able to get a free one somewhere. The only exception is the Bagu reusable bag. I love that thing. I've had it for so long. I have one. I just love it because it's so compact and it's so flat. It fits in my little sling pouch when I'm on the go. So if you're going to purchase a reusable bag, I recommend Bagu because it's super handy if you are out and about and you're like shopping or grocery shopping and you forget your bag in the car or whatever. That happens to me a lot and I almost always have my Bagu with me so that is the exception to the tote bag thing. All right, next category is laundry, and I could only think of two things here. I feel like there were probably more swaps. These, I guess, are the two most significant swaps that I've made. First thing is dryer balls. If you haven't heard of dryer balls, please go and Google them. They're so easy to use. They reduce static, reduce your drying time. They're sustainable. They're just perfect. So go and swap those dryer sheets out for dryer balls. The second thing are laundry strips, which I've only recently been introduced to. It was a PR gift for me to try out the product and I actually do really like it um, they're really simple to use you can just rip a strip off and throw it in with your clothes while you do a load and there's just really really little waste it's really just the cardboard packaging that it comes in but you can recycle that so it's amazing the only thing is I can't use it with cloth diapers so I still have to have some kind of liquid detergent for my reusable cloth diapers but other than that it's really great and if you don't have to wash cloth diapers I highly recommend switching to those laundry strips all right so those are some updates that I wanted to give you on sustainable swaps and how sustainable living has been going on in my life. I feel like I haven't chatted about this topic for a while, um, but yeah, it's still a huge interest and passion of mine to live minimally and live as sustainably as I can. I definitely don't do it perfectly, but I think that taking any kind of little steps here and there in your life can make a huge difference. So if you haven't made any of these swaps or if you're interested in any of the things that I've mentioned, I will leave some links in the description box down below that you can check out and maybe you can implement it in your own life but yeah if you have any questions or things you want to talk about leave a comment down below I love chatting about sustainability and just hearing about how it works in other people's lives I think it could be so different just depending on your lifestyle your stage of life um, who you live with whether you live alone there's just so many factors that play into how you live a more sustainable life so let's chat in the comments down below if you enjoyed this video make sure to let me know give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this i will talk to you guys next time bye